Hey everybody, Daniel here. Today is Sunday, March 19th. Hope everybody has a great Sunday and is having a great weekend. World Baseball Classic last night, USA, uh, come from behind, victory with Trey Turner hitting a grand slam. That was pretty amazing. Um, I'm loving it. Uh, obviously, you know, I think I mentioned in a previous video, we got to go to the game this past Wednesday, which was uh, USA versus Columbia. That was a great game. Again, USA came from behind to, to end up winning that one. Mike Trout hit a triple in the first inning. And then he had a two RBI single that gave USA the lead. They ended up winning three to two, I think. Um, so anyways, uh, looking forward to tonight's game. Um, got a package in the mail yesterday from Tony over at Psyched on Baseball Cards. And Tony, that the name is fantastic. I love the YouTube name. Every time I see everyone else's YouTube names... I get a little jealous, and I know I can change mine. Uh, I finally, you know, figured out how you would do that, but I don't know. Anyways, um, so the note, Daniel, here's a few cards for you. Went through my D-backs cards and picked out ones I thought you might not have. Tony, psyched on baseball cards. Well, thank you, Tony. I really appreciate that. Not not needed. I had sent Tony a, a Dennis Eckersley that. I'd shared in one of my videos that he had commented on. And um, my philosophy is, you know, I love baseball cards. I love all baseball cards. But I know that there are people out there that are going to love baseball cards even more than me. Certain ones, right? And so if I can get those into their hands, I am happy. Um, but... Again, was not expecting anything in return, Tony, um, but much appreciated. So we have this Bowman Chrome Ian Kennedy. I think this is from 2011. I'm not sure if this was a refractor or not. Sometimes when I, I sort of get a refractor shine, I'll have to take a look at some of the uh, other Bowman Chrome cards that I have from this year. They don't always, they didn't always indicate if it was a refractor or not. So I'll have to check that out. All right, next up is this Bowman's Best mirror image with Victor Robles and AJ Pollock. So I know I don't have this one. This one's pretty cool. So thank you, Tony. And then next we have two Miguel Montero cards. So we have a 2010 Bowman Chrome and a 2007 Fleer rookie card for Miguel Montero. Um, so thank you, Tony. These, these are awesome. And uh, with you sending these, I wanted to talk a little bit about Miguel Montero and show some other baseball cards I have. Um, actually, that my son has, my oldest son. Um, Miguel Montero was my oldest son's favorite player on the D-backs for a number of years. Montero played with the Diamondbacks from 2006 through, I think, 2014. Uh, he was an all-star two of those years, 2011 and 2014. Uh, he was a, a, a good a good catcher. Um, occasional power, you know, not, not nothing crazy, um, but hardworking, fan favorite, good player. Uh, he would go from the D-backs to the Cubs. He was actually on the Cubs team when they won the World Series. And uh, then spent just a couple of other uh, years with, um, trying to think even, I know he was with the Nationals one of the years, I can't remember 
who else, but um, he retired several years ago. Um, but with him being my son's favorite player, one year for Christmas, um, I decided to get my son some cards. So I went with this shot of Miguel Montero on the 2013 Topps Chrome. Um, you know, he's <clears throat> going to probably try and make an out here. Not sure what happened, but kind of a, a nice action shot of Miguel Montero. You can see the back. So there's the base. There's the refractor. So by 2000, well, again, this is a, this is Topps Chrome, not Bowman Chrome, but they did indicate here underneath the number that it was the refractor. Then you have the X-fractor. The orange refractor, it's not numbered. Purple refractor. Sorry about the glare. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, again, not numbered. <coughs> and there's the blue refractor. which is numbered, numbered out of 199. The black refractor, which I really like the black Topps Chrome refractors. Get these out of the way so I can go back a little bit and show the whole card. So black's numbered out of 100. The sepia, it's always kind of a weird one to me. <laughs> sort of black and white, but anyways. These are numbered out of 75. Here's the gold, you know, again, one of my personal favorites is the gold refractors, Topps Chrome. These are numbered out of 50. red which I always like the red for the Diamondbacks because it's kind of a color match to their jerseys the red are numbered out of 25 you have camo these are numbered out of 15 Atomic refractors, which again, the lighting is not doing these justice, but uh, what did I say? Atomic or they're cracked ice or something like that. Uh, these are numbered out of 10. <clears throat> so the next one is a pink one and it's numbered out of five. And I searched and searched and searched and could not find that one. Um, like, to the point where I was like, does this card even exist? Um, and then a couple of years ago, I did see one. Uh, but they wanted just like crazy crazy money for it. I mean, yes, Miguel Montero is a two-time All-Star, but it was way higher than I thought it should be. And I just, I couldn't do it at the time. I'm, Anyways, um, what I do have is a, just a Topps pink from that year. So they use the same photo for the tops and the tops chrome. 
And so this is a pink parallel from Tops, which uh, is numbered out of 50. Okay. Uh, then you have, so we have the printing plates, right? So this is, well, again, this is a Tops Chrome one. So let's get a Tops Chrome. So you'd have these cards that would be like this, right? And they would use that to make. So I've always, you know, I find it interesting where you have printing plates that are like the mirror image, like this, right? Um, and then you have some that are not the mirror image. But uh, anyways, so I'll have to look that up one day and figure out. How does that work when they're not the mirror image? I kind of get this, right? Because it would be like... Anyways, I don't know. Um, so, what with a, just one of the printing plates, this being the yellow. Um, and then... The superfractor. The 101. Um, so, was happy to be able to pick those up for my son. Um, he doesn't actively collect cards at this point, but these are in a box with all his other uh, good cards, and he has a maybe a binder or two, but um, anyways, I thought I would share these since Tony sent me some awesome Miguel Montero cards. Appreciate it, Tony. Did not need to do that, but thank you so much, and again, hope everybody has a great rest of your weekend. Bye.